Good morning. It's January 30th. We're having a good laugh this morning. Uh, and I thought today would be a great day. We could do some tips on the Longbow dashboard. For example, let's say you're interested in gold. There's a well-known historical relationship between the US dollar and gold. So when the dollar is rising, often the price of gold falls and vice versa. So it's typically what we call a negative correlation. Because gold is generally dollar denominated, a stronger dollar tends to drive gold prices lower. Of course, real and expected inflation rates as well as supply and demand matter too. Um, but when you're looking at technicals, one area I like to check out is the current correlation. So I'm gonna scoot over to the Longbow dashboard and look at here market insights tab. You can see if you go to the USD correlations that gold is holding a really high negative correlation with the dollar. So it's 0.97 for a 15 day, 0.93 for a 30 day. Across the road till we get to the 180 day correlation, we can see figures are consistently lower than the negative 0.9 mark. So this is almost a one to one negative correlation that's been holding steady. So you should probably have a view on the dollar if you wanna get gold right, but that gives you a sense if you're looking for the dollar, not only could you put GLD or your favorite gold related ticker in there to check its trading range, but I also would look at the dollar correlations as well and have that view on the dollar and check out the dollar through UUP or other tickers. That's one tip. The second tip is if you're looking to invest abroad, you can look at the global equity ETFs tab and see how they're trading across the board and individually. For the most part, we can see that there's bullish short-term momentum. I'll scroll down here and you can see a whole bunch of them. Um, or you can also look at the medium term. Most of them are bullish. You've got a few bearish and neutral here, uh, but that's really no surprise. You know, There's been a lot of risk on for assets lately, especially internationally since October, there's been the big rebound. Um, and you know, when you think about whether or not that's gonna hold, you can decide, all right, is it a technical opportunity? Is it a fundamental opportunity? And if we're looking at the technicals, let's say you did want to fundamentally go abroad, so XUS, let's see who's um, at the lower end of their trading range. You see a few folks here. Earlier this morning, KWeb was up there, so China Tech was up there, uh, but you've got South Africa, um, and earlier this morning, there was, the, yes, you've got the Philippines. And if you scroll down, Israel was down there. They were all oversold. So those would be places that I would look to say are fundamentally those places I want to invest. And if so, you know, they're at the low end of their trading range or below their low end of the trading range. So is it a good point to enter? So that's the second tip. And lastly, during earnings seasons, fundamentals can really affect the security prices, obviously. And so you don't just want to be looking at technicals like risk ranges or implied volatility um, or momentum. You know, and then, let, then a good idea on that is to check the top 25. And so when I looked at it this morning, hopefully it's still there. Yeah, we've got Visa, right? And we've got um, Amex was down there too this morning. So they might have been pushed off of there in the last 30 minutes. But Amex was there. And these, of course, on the right-hand side of the sheet were the higher trading ranges with the highest trading ranges, sorry, to the downside, meaning the stock prices went up, they went uh, you know, so far that there's the most amount of asymmetry to fall. And you know that Amex had a good uh, guidance report and so did Visa, and that's versus MasterCard. So it's really no surprise that they were sitting on the right side of this sheet this morning. And I would compare that to the left side and those with the highest trading range odds to the upside, so they're not trading as well. And this morning, let's see if it's on there. Well, Schwab is on there. So you know Schwab had a difficult print last week, gave a bit of a challenging guidance. So there's a fundamental reason why it's showing up on the left side. So again, you don't just want to look at technicals when you're investing. The three things we've talked about is you want to look at the macro and the macro data and what's going to be aligned with that. So you're going into a Goldilocks where the growth of GDP is accelerating and the growth of inflation is decelerating. Are you more like deflation? where the growth of inflation is decelerating, but so is the growth of GDP, and figure out what different exposures might do better or worse in those environments. That's the first step. Second step, the fundamental. You really care about what businesses are gonna do. And so having an idea on management and the financials are really important. In addition to the third step, we call the tactical or technical, which is really what Longbow is about. But you can put those things together, like I'm showing you here, thinking about the dollar and gold, thinking about which international markets might be oversold, as well as why different companies might be on these lists related, especially during an earnings season that's um, been 
pretty interesting so far. So those are the three tips this morning. Send me any questions you might have, and I look forward to speaking with you tomorrow.